Well, hello everyone. I wanted to make a video early in the morning because the birds, oh my goodness, they, they're they singing up a storm. <laughs> uh, I don't know how loud they're going to be this morning, but they're really, really loud sometimes. Uh, we've been very busy, my family and I, we've been really busy with, uh, with firewood. <laughs> getting firewood ready for uh, so it can dry out through the summer you know so we've been we've been quite busy with that but anyways uh, you can hear some birds maybe in the distance there last night it was funny uh, we had a little campfire you know we were played out after after working on the firewood and we had a we had a campfire just relaxing a bit and uh, and it was after dark and I'll, I'll put a little audio clip in right here uh, you'll hear you'll hear the audio just a little bit it was really neat I mean uh, we're, we're just sitting down enjoying the campfire and pretty soon we hear an owl out in the woods here and it's right up in a tree that's right near where, or it was up in a tree right near where I'm standing on our property. There was an owl, and it was it was making a it was making quite a loud sound. You know the the sound that I couldn't begin to mimic the way that they sound. It was just really really neat. Uh, well, after a while, we went in the house. After a while, it's still out here hooting and uh, my daughter was keeping track of it you know well it was uh, i was i was wondering well funny why they hoot so much i mean you'd think they'd scare their uh, their the, whatever they hunt uh, probably mice or whatever you'd think they'd kind of scare them away <laughs> but it, i we found out that it wasn't for the reason for hunting um it, i think it was hunting for its mate <laughs> Because my, my daughter, she was Kayla, she was keeping track of it there, and pretty soon another owl started hooting, and she said they made quite a sound. <laughs> well, I think I'll stop right there. <laughs> we discovered the reason why, that it was hooting so much. I can't help but wonder, what in the world they saying? <laughs> maybe, maybe I wouldn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was kind of funny anyway we, you never know where, what we're going to see here uh, a herd of deer came right in around the cabin here the other night or the other morning I guess it was and right on the other side of me on the other side of the porch there um, a bull moose walked right through here we just never know what we're going to see for animals anyways uh, a little praise report. Uh, uh, I mentioned when I was praying last week, I didn't know what to do, and I hadn't. There was no way I could reach out to uh, to Sarah in New Zealand. <laughs> there was no way I could do that because I, dummy me, I didn't write down any information or nothing. Well, anyways, uh, Sarah watched my video last week, and she it wasn't long, just within. I think the same day or the next day she reached out to me and uh, and uh, I, the Lord answered my prayers he really did Sarah she is uh, a daughter in Christ for me she she's just like a daughter to me uh, in, in Christ uh, but she she's very special but uh, she lives in New Zealand but I just uh, I thank the Lord that uh, that He answered my prayers. I love you all so much. You know that. You know. Um, I guess she changed her name on her on her Facebook and never thought or whatever. But uh, trying to find Sarah would would be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. It really would to try to to try to find her. So I'm so glad that she reached out to me there. Anyways. Um, I, I've got my cowboy hat on because I wanted to make 
uh, this video is for everyone, for all of you folks out there, but there's somebody very special in Texas that needs to, that, to hear this message, and I hope it's a comfort to her and her family. I, you know, I love Western wear. I really do. I'm, I, I should be in Oklahoma or Texas or someplace besides. <laughs> I love the state of Maine, though. It's beautiful here. It, it is a beautiful place. Uh, the winters are long, yes, they're they're long, but you can sure go snowshoeing and skiing because there's lots of snow for it. Or if you like snow sledding or any of that stuff. Anyway, it's a it is a beautiful place to live. But uh, the summers, uh, when spring finally comes, as you can see, the snow is pretty much completely gone. There might be a a snowbank here and there where it was plowed up, you know, but. Uh, other than that, when the snow goes, it goes fast, and it heats up fast. It's been it's been up around 65, 66 degrees for for a few days now. Yesterday might have been a little bit cooler, but uh, it's been really really nice here. But one thing about uh, in Maine, it's a long winter, but when spring finally comes, and summer and fall. It's, very, it's quite comfortable. It never gets too hot here in the summertime. It might get, it might get up around 90 degrees. Well, it's time to, time to hit the beach or, uh, or go to the lake and go swimming, you know. Uh, but we love it here. But anyways, uh, I wanted to get on to uh, something that, you know, the Lord laid on my heart last night. I was thinking, well, what am I going to make a video on today? And, uh, you know, the Lord spoke to me this very old song. And I can't sing it because of copyright issues, you know. But uh, uh, a lot of you folks have heard this song before. Sheltered safe within the arms of God. Beautiful, beautiful song. Uh, and, it, and you folks that are listening, I mean, a lot of you folks, you've been, you've been through so much in your life. And uh, and I I know a lot of folks like that. You've been through, you've been through an awful lot in your life. Um, this lady in Texas, I just got her message last night. Oh my, my goodness! You know the Lord understands. He knows. Um, he knows all about everything in your life, and I tell you what, a lot of times God God's way is very hard. The way is not easy. But it is the best way, because he knows, he knows the future. He knows, he knows the future. He sees around the corner. We can't see around the corner. I'm looking over yonder there, and uh, I can see the end of my camp. I don't know, but what? There's a bear on the other side of that. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but you know, I can't see around the corner, but but Jesus can. He can see what's ahead. And uh, anyway, that song there, I feel the touch of hands, so kind and tender, Jesus, you know, his hands, they're leading me in paths that I must trod. I'll have no fear, because Jesus walks beside me. I think that's how it goes. And I'm sheltered, safe within the arms of God. So let the storm clouds roll, the dark, the dark clouds rise, they don't worry me. For I'm sheltered, safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, and not of earth can harm me. You know, Jesus knows exactly where you are. He knows, he knows everything about you. I just put out a post on Facebook, and it was just a very simple post, but it was something about, I just felt to write these words. Uh, that he he looks beyond he looks beyond our faults he looks beyond uh, he looks beyond our failures he 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 sees beyond the imperfection he sees and knows the reasons why that um, oh we're we're a work in progress I think that's a woodpecker I don't know. <laughs> That must hurt, you'd think, beating your head on. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
uh, anyway, you know, Jesus, he, he, he sees beyond the faults and failures and, and, uh, you know, there's, uh, you know, things are, how can I say, it's not that things are right, that it's the right thing to do, you know, but Jesus, he knows and he understands the reasons why people do what they do. He understands. You know, I'm, I don't know if I'd be talking to somebody in prison maybe right now that, uh, You've, you've done things, obviously, to get you in jail, to get you in prison. But, you know, Jesus, he sees beyond what you did. He sees beyond all of this stuff. And he sees, he sees you as a person. He loves you. He loves you. Oh, the Lord doesn't love, he doesn't love things that are evil or wrong or bad. But he, he looks beyond all of that and he sees you. He can see you, and He loves you, and He wants to be your Lord and Savior. Uh, and uh, just you, all you have to do is simply reach out to Him uh, and ask Jesus to just just tell Jesus, I, Jesus, I know that God sent you to die for me. I know I'm in need of a Savior. I'm desperately lost without you. I believe in you, Jesus. I believe that you came and died for me. Please come into my heart and into my life and forgive me of everything I've done wrong and help me to walk with you. You know, the Bible, it says simply to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Um, Jesus did everything at Calvary. There's no other way of salvation but through Christ. Anyway, I just love you all and I want to give you folks a hug. And uh, I know for some people this is kind of strange. I know it is, but for most people, most of my listeners, they, you know, most of most of my listeners, I think this is prob probably their favorite part of my videos. I don't know. I just feel, I feel that uh, that that's what the Lord would have me to do. But anyway, precious Lord Jesus, I I come to you right now. Oh Lord, I just pray for each and every one out there. You know the heartache, you know the tears, you know the suffering, you know the anguish, you know the trial and tribulation, you know what everyone has gone through. And uh, uh, though we are not perfect, you understand and you can see the reasons why. We don't look at our, our perfections, that's for sure. Our righteousness is filthy rags, but Lord, we, we look to you and to the cross and uh, your shed blood that you've shed for us at Calvary, uh, that your righteousness, um, that's what makes us whole. Well, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that you would touch each and every one out there and whatever, whatever that one is going through, precious Lord, I pray more than anything that they would feel, I feel to say, your acceptance your acceptance. You want people to come just as they are and uh, I know that you will touch and help them every which way and the Holy Spirit will help lead and guide each and every one to you. Lord, I just pray that you would uh, minister, minister to each and every broken heart out there. Lord, I pray that you would lift each and every one up. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for each and every one. Lord, I know that you love each and every one out there. And I thank you for your protection, for your love, for your mercy, for everything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. Well, um, anyway, the Lord bless and keep each and every one of you. And uh, I, I got rested up there, but I tell you what, I'm... I, I felt my age last night. <laughs> I had to, I had to go get a little cat nap halfway through the day yesterday. The old, like the old song goes, the old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. <laughs> That's for sure. My goodness, you get a little cat nap though. It helps. It, it helps big time. You can keep right on going if you get a little cat nap. <laughs> anyway, God bless and keep you all. You take care, and here it comes. 
Bye for now.